Hi, it's Katie here and we're just going to do a quick cool down. So this is just a few basic stretches um, just to get you kind of back to ready to go about your day after your hammock workout. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. So um, let's start off just rolling the head round nice and gentle. And the other way. Well done. Shrugging the shoulders. Bring one arm across. And don't forget to breathe. Let it go after all that work you've been doing. Bring the other arm across. Just make sure you're not holding the elbow. Well done. Right, so we're going to bring both of our arms together. Think about hugging, so making that upper back nice and wide. Suck the belly button in. And it's like hugging a beach ball, okay? So you can bring chin to chest if you want to. Relax the shoulders. And opening out. Let's do that again. And opening out. So clasping fingers behind the back. Pushing the shoulders down and away. Feel that nice opening of the chest. Well done, and release. So come to the hammock, taking hold. So nice and wide, okay? This will vary as to how wide you need it. So we're going to lift it up and over the top. Up and then back in front, okay? So this time, when we go over to the back, we're going to take a step forward and keeping the arms back. You should be able to feel that across the chest and shoulders. Just breathe into it. Feels good after that workout. Bring it forward again, and then we'll come back and just step forward again. I always find that the shoulders have done a lot of work, so this is always a good one for me. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Well done, and just dropping that down. So we're just going to stretch to one side. Make sure you're tucking the tailbone, you're not arching through the back. And then we'll come to the other side. Well done. So then we're just going to do our knocking on heaven's door. So make sure your feet are under your hips. And we're just going to gently twist, bending the knees. Just tap in the back as you come round. And we're going to slowly move up. So it gets a little bit higher until you reach the shoulders. And then back down again. And then coming back to centre, just get your balance. Well done. Okay, so what we're going to do is pop one foot onto the hammock, okay? And we're going to gently lean into that. So this is entirely up to you how far you go. You'll be able to feel, you just want to feel that gentle stretch. You don't want to take it too far. Just gauge it with a few gentle ones. And then when you've found that spot, we're going to hold it there, just for a couple of breaths. And 
and release some more soft legs. Again, just finding where that stretch is for you today. It's just finding that spot that's good for you. You might find that one side's completely different to the other. Just breathing into that for a couple of breaths. Well done. Okay, so we're going to come into um, that sort of pigeon stretch with the hammock. So coming down to the ground, we're going to bring one leg into the hammock. And we've just got the other leg at an angle um, in front of us, pushing back into the hammock. And you can come down onto your hands if you can. Um, I apologise for the camera angle there, but it is the classic sort of pigeon stretch. We're just going to breathe into that for a few breaths. Swap our legs, we'll take that one out, pop the other one in, which is sometimes easier said than done. Again, you've got that angle with the front leg pushing into the hammock. Come down onto the hands if you can. Should be able to feel that in the hips, glutes. Well done. Feels good. Right, let's release that. Okay, so what we're going to do now um, is just um, think about coming back into that downward dog. So we're leaning forward, hands down, pushing the heels towards the ground, into that downward dog. Just taking a couple of breaths there. That's it, well done. And then we're going to slowly come up. Obviously, if there are any specific stretches that you um, need to do, then obviously add those in. Um, if you've worked in a particular area today, you might want to add some different ones in. Um, but yeah, let me know how that was for you. I hope it helped and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.